uh, Math 88. This is our, our trig piece. And for, uh, for trig, what we're going to do is we're going to think about the relationship in, in right triangles. And the relationship that we're thinking about is between um, the angles on the shape and the side lengths. Like we know the side lengths are related uh, using that Pythagorean theorem that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this equation, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So that's a, that's a good one. We also know that the angles in here, this, that, and that must add up to 180 degrees. So if we were to go um, angle A plus angle B plus angle C, we get 180 degrees. Now, notice these two comparisons do um, like limit you to one type of measure. And what I mean by that is the 3, 4, and 5 are all side lengths. So this statement, Pythagorean theorem, uh, connects side lengths to side lengths. This statement about the sum of the angles connects angles to angles. But what we want to do is make some connections between the measure of the angle and the side lengths. So how do I know, if I know something about this side A, how do I know something about these other sides? That's what trig does. So let me, if you think about these trig functions, and I haven't said what they are yet, what happens is we input an angle, and what it spits out is a ratio. And let me let me talk about that. So in this triangle that's right here, um, I'll talk about my our first trig function, which is sine, and it's abbreviated as SIN. So if I were to talk about sine of angle A, this angle that's right here, notice what I'm doing is my trig function now is sine. So that means that uh, instead of just writing trig here, I can write I can write sine. So sine is the function, sine is the machine. And what I'm doing is I'm putting in angle A, and it spits out a ratio. And the ratio that sine spits out, so sine of some angle spits out um, opposite over hypotenuse. So let's think about that for a second. Let's start to label some sides here. Uh, the side that's opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. So in this case, my hypotenuse is 5. And now opposite is relative to the angle. So if I think about angle A, the side that's opposite angle A is side 3. So sine of A returns the ratio opposite side divided by hypotenuse, 3 fifths. And I can just write it as 3 fifths. Uh, let me think about cosine of that same angle, cosine of A. Cosine now is my function, and I'm plugging the angle A into it. And what cosine is going to tell me, um, cosine is going to tell me a different ratio. It's the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is, again, always 5, always opposite the right angle. If this is angle A, this side right here that's not the hypotenuse is adjacent to that angle. So cosine then would be 4 fifths. And the last uh, trig function I want to talk about, tangent, same idea, tangent of A. Um, tangent of some angle. What tangent spits out is opposite over adjacent. So in this case, opposite is 3, adjacent is 4. So opposite over adjacent is 3 fourths. Cool. Uh, let's do it again, but with a different angle. Let's do it with angle B. So let's find sine of angle B, sine of angle, uh, sorry, cosine of angle B, and tangent. Now, A is no longer where I'm focused. Uh, now, B is where I'm focused. So B is where I'm going to center myself because I'm talking about angle B. And this adjacent opposite switches. The hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. Again, the op uh, opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. But now for B, if I think about what's opposite angle B, that's this side 4. Whoops, changed my pen. So angle B opposite it is side 4. The side that's adjacent to it, that's not the hypotenuse, is 3. So now if I do these ones, uh, sine of B, let me look it up. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here's angle B, opposite over hypotenuse, 4 fifths. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 fifths. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent four-thirds. Great. And that is, um, that's basically the ideas behind trig. Let me do, let me do one more example here, which I think is a good one.
Um, before I do it, it's kind of interesting to note that in this triangle, uh, sine of A is three-fifths and cosine of B is three-fifths. Sine of B is four-fifths and cosine of A is four-fifths, which makes sense to me. If sine is opposite over adjacent, here's A. A is opposite is three. And B is adjacent is three. So the opposite and the adjacent switch when you switch angles. So that means sine of one of them would be the same as cosine of the other one of them. So as I promised, I'm going to do one more triangle here, and then uh, you'll be able to jump into some practice. So I'm just going to draw my triangle uh, like, like so. Oops. And I'll use the sides 5, 12, 13. I'll call this A. I'll call this B. I'll call this C. Typically, the angle that's the right angle is always called C. And let's find some sine cosine tangent values for these. Actually, I didn't even need to erase all that. I could just erase some of it. Oh, well. We're not using this triangle, we're using this triangle. So sine A, so let's think about angle A, let's center ourselves there. And let's label these sides right now. So this is always the hypotenuse. Relative to A, this five is adjacent. Relative to side A, this side over here, this 12 is opposite. So we have those defined. So sine of angle A, so angle A, I plug it into sine, remember it spits out a ratio, and that ratio is opposite of our hypotenuse. So opposite of our hypotenuse, 12 thirteenths. Cosine of A is, spits out adjacent over hypotenuse, 5 thirteenths. Tangent of A spits out opposite over adjacent, uh, so 12, sorry, opposite over adjacent, 12 fifths. Notice like when the triangle is drawn for me like this, and I don't know, uh, I'm sorry, and I know all the side lengths, I don't need to know the measure of the angle. But if I knew the measure of angle A, if I knew what it was in degrees, I could go sine of that degrees on my calculator and the answer would be 12 thirteenths. That's what trig does. All right, give those uh, problems a try and message me if you